You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Avers. Today's topic, stem cells, uh, stem cell treatment to eliminate back pain, shoulder pain, knee pain, and other types of pain throughout the body. And with us, we have an expert on the topic. Uh, we've had him on the program before, Dr. Manchikanti. Dr. Manchikanti, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Now, you are board certified in interventional pain management. Is that right? That's correct. And we should also mention, you wrote the book on this topic, and uh, you started this specialty. Tell me a little bit about that, your background. We started the specialty of interventional pain management. Uh, now, regenerative medicine is even much newer than that. There have been a lot of people giving courses around, but there was no coordinated effort at all. So what we did through our American Board of Interventional Pain Physicians, which I started several years ago, we are providing what is called a competency certification. So people can demonstrate the competency that they have the enough didactic knowledge to understand the disease okay. process and they have technical competence to perform these procedures. So we are doing a little bit more than other people where they go over the weekend and learn. Here we are going to give them, a, they have to attend multiple courses. Okay. They have to build up their credit hours, then attend the cadaver workshops. They demonstrate that they can do the techniques and they understand, like we give you, let, let us say you are the one who is taking the exam. Yeah. So we will give you a case we discuss, the two examiners will discuss with you how you're going to manage that case. After that, there will be another two examiners who will be looking at if you can do the techniques properly or not. And before that, you take a two-hour examination answering the questions about on the subject. So we started this competency examination and there were no books available for interventional pain physicians. There are many, many- So you many, started this whole thing? Right. And we were talking, look, I've had a lot of medical doctors on the show, had an orthopedic surgeon here the other day. Everybody's heard of you. I mean, you can't be a pain management doctor and not heard of Dr. Manchikanti. Is, is that true. true? I mean, doctors from, and we should also mention, everything we're talking about right now, stem cells, things like that, uh, not only did you write the books on them, publish the articles, uh, but you teach people across the country, doctors That's across, in, in, all over the world. Is that right? Even That's in right. India. Right. All right, and you have your own Wikipedia page. I think you're the <laughs> first guy on my show in 20 years to have their own Wikipedia page. And you're a very humble guy. Because you know, you people make big claims to me, so I checked you out. And I go, this guy actually started interventional pain management. So good for you. So you have 14 locations, uh, and, and we're gonna talk about stem cells today and how they work and, 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 and if they work. Um, so you've, uh, so let's start with your background. I mean, when did you start getting interested in stem cells? Did you see it coming? Yes, uh, it has been almost 10 years or so. I started okay. looking around and uh, then multiple research was coming, but for interventional pain physicians, we were not involved at all, any okay. other doctors. And people were conducting the courses, weekend courses, and uh, so we wanted to have a coordinated approach. Some of my friends who were already doing this, this is a big business in California, for example. Because you're head of these societies, I mean, they must look to you like, hey, right. what do you think of stem cells, right? <laughs> right? You must get asked that by other medical doctors. Oh yeah, absolutely. So we wanted to standardize the procedures and okay. then give a scientific background to it rather than a, only a financial. It's cash out of pocket. People need cash no insurance. Out of pocket. But it's not that much money when you, when it you think about what. It depends on some people really charge enormous amounts. You're uh, less than most places well, doing stem cells? Half, almost half or half less than. Half off yes. for stem cells. Cash out of pocket. Not off. That is our price. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Let, let's start with knees for a moment because you say one of your good friends flew out here from another country just to get his knee. Tell me about that. Uh, this is my best friend. He was in actually my roommate in medical school, and we are very good friends. And the, we, our children grew up together. And uh, so he's having knee problems, and his, so much so that he has developed valgus deformity, like his, it rotates, his leg rotates when he's walking. Okay. So he need, he was told that he needed total knee surgery, but he did not like want a to knee have replacement? knee replacement. Okay. So he did not want that. So he was asking me. So I said, okay, we will go ahead and do the. He comes and wants to have the stem cell injection, and he comes to our center in Paducah, and we took uh, his uh, blood from there and uh, from the bone marrow and made the stem cells and injected into his knee. 
And some people do have some extra pain, but uh, he was uh, very dramatic. Uh, just that day, he took some Tylenol. All he right. didn't take, have, didn't have to have any pain medication. And next day on, he started feeling better. And I just talked to him about after it has been four months since he injected. He said he's walking better. His knee just hurt a little bit twice or so. And he's not thinking about any surgery. But now, since he's walking, exercising, he lost about 18 pounds. and. He's doing much better. So the stem cells, okay, so you shoot them into the area. Is it like millions of stem cells? Yes, there are millions and millions of them. Okay, so, so. you shoot the stem cells. Do the stem cells actually grow the tissue? Like when you have yes, bone sir. on bone, this will help that? Right, it is regeneration. You see, when you are looking at a replacement, that means you are developing scar tissue. Like when you cut something, the, it is replaced by scar tissue, fibrous tissue. That doesn't help you any. Whereas stem cells, they regenerate the tissue, so it is going to replenish what was lost. That is how it helps. Interesting. Now what about shoulders, like a torn rotator cup or some of these things? Inject stem cells there, and what are some of the findings? Yes, uh, there is not that much literature on the shoulders, but yeah, we are doing those things and they are effective in many patients. Are you seeing like under MRI or scope or whatever you're using? Again, I it's do. growing tissues? We do, all, uh, we do all of our injections under fluoroscopy when we inject, but you can watch MRIs, repeated MRIs and do, again, it becomes expensive, so we're not doing any such thing, but there are studies where they have, case reports, not real big studies, but where they have shown that how the torn rotator cuff is no longer torn, whereas knee defects, they're no longer there. Okay. The most important thing I would be looking into stem cells into future also it is the PRP also is available for regenerative medicine. In the future is this back pain. All, all our lives we are trying to control the pain. We don't have a cure for any of these diseases. We are controlling it. Okay. So whereas stem cells, it is like curing. Really? It is regenerating it. So you don't have that problem anymore once this is done. So if you have somebody has back pain, we can inject the stem cells or PRP, either one of them, into the discs into the facet joints, into the sacral. So like a bulging disc or herniated disc, you can inject directly into the disc? Yes, we can inject into the disc or do it just like an epidural injection, as uh, I was showing you on the other show, Yeah. Epidu into the epidural space. Sometimes we do, this is like a self-pay situation, cash business, so patients can't afford to go through each individual treatment. So we try to do multiple, attack multiple structures at one point, okay. with, at one time, because all of them are degenerated. There is no harm in that. So we inject the medication into different structures and patients feel much better with that because you are regenerating. The degenerative process is reversed in all structures. Okay, now, you know, I, I've done as much research as I could on this, looking at your videos online, things like that. So you've got, Stem cells you can get from bone marrow. Stem nice cells from their own blood that you could spin their blood. You could take like liposuction or take fat cells, those stem cells, and then you could buy a kit, I guess, with stem cells from umbilical cord. Right. So, so what are you using or is it all of them? Okay, those are all, there are lots of questionable issues there. We have to follow FDA regulations. FDA approves what can be done or what cannot be done. So it has to be autologous. It has to be your own blood. Okay. So that rules out your fetal stem cells and umbilical cord cells. Okay. Then it has to, it should not have any manipulation or minimal manipulation. So the problem with the fat cells is when you do the liposuction and churn them mm -hmm. and we are adding collagen to that. Otherwise, fat won't go away, it stays there. When you inject it, it can go into blood vessels and cause a lot of damage. So it is not minimal manipulation. FDA has said it's not minimal manipulation, so we're not using that technique. Okay. So mainly we are with the PRP and also the bone marrow stem cells, or we call it bone marrow aspirate, and also there is exosome. Is that a painful procedure to take some stem cells out of somebody's bone marrow? It is somewhat painful, but it's not really that bad. Like my, several people, like my son-in-law had that done, my best friend had it done. They, they didn't, didn't have any problem, they didn't complain. No problem. So you, we put some local anesthetic and watch under fluoroscopic guidance, and we are putting this needle into the big bone ilium on the hip bone. Is that And right? that is where we take you it. You could inject stem, could you inject stem cells 
we yes. take it from there okay. and then prepare them. All right. And so like we say, take 60 cc of bone marrow aspirate and it becomes like six to 10 cc of uh, stem cells. Okay. And then we inject that little bit into different areas. Like if you are injecting into the knee, that's fine, we inject. But if you are involved in two knees, so we inject half and half. So bone marrow, just let me cut, I'm, I'm sorry for interrupt, but bone marrow, is that where humans, where we have the most concentration of stem cells? Most concentration is actually in your sternum, okay. but we don't want to go and take that, so that's but why we take bone marrow it. is really the best. Bone better marrow is the best. Or better than these other things. Yeah. So, so, so when I hear, because look, stem cell clinics are, you know, the, the buzz is all over the place. Right. And that's why, you know, I, I really wanted you to talk about this. They're buying these umbilical cord kits and things like that, or spinning fat, injecting it, or PRP. But but the marrow, when you're going doing that, it's just that much more powerful, that much that stronger. Is, uh, that is the best, and that is the most researched, and that is the safest, and above all, it meets the FDA requirements. We know, or not we know, I know, because I've uh, had, had friends of mine, they go and they get like prolotherapy, or just injection therapy of an anti-inflammatory, whatever and their shoulder feels better almost forever in some cases. They're back. So when you inject, so you're doing the same principles injecting, but with stem cells, now you're rebuilding tissue. That's is that correct. right? Yeah, it is funny that you bring up prolotherapy. Prolotherapy was the first regenerative medicine technique. Is that <laughs> it, right? It went out of uh, favor, but um, yeah. But the that same was, kind of thing. I mean, you're injecting same something. Same principle, but the difference is that in prolotherapy, you are stimulating and creating more scar like tissue. Like growth fa factors more go that area? inflammation. Okay. Here we are reducing the inflammation. These things are regenerating. So stem cells love inflammation. I mean, they go directly to the inflammation of the body? Yes, actually they call them soldiers. So, so they, sometimes you can put it just close to the area, they can go. And sometimes they even used to say that folks you really support the, or who really support the fat cells, they give it IV and then they hope that it will go through the area where there is a, an issue. Good. But IV really doesn't work that well. So IV works for other things like makes you young and feel better and things like more that. stronger and you can work if out If you more. had knee problems or shoulder problems, would you have stem cells put in? Yes. Is that right? Yes. So you love it? Oh yeah. Is that, and that's the most exciting thing that's going on right now? Yes, and because that is, as I said, as I said, that is the cure. It is not just. Now, can we legally say a cure or, you know, look, results, results are typical. Obviously that everybody gets 100% results, but the stem cells work. Stem cells Period. work. You don't get 100% results, but where you do get it, you're regenerating the tissue. That is what we are looking for, the cures. Would you say then of the millions of, of, of total knee replacements across the country that are being performed, right? Is that yes, right? Close yes, to that? Yes, several millions. Yeah. How many percentage in your estimate would you say with stem cells could, could you could avoid the surgery? Well, if you take if the you same, same uh, st studies, 60% uh, can be avoided. So six out of 10 people, you could have avoided the surgery. That's correct. Really? And so it's just a matter of finding a doctor that does stem cells. Not a lot of guys in San Diego are doing it. So you look for a interventional pain management physician. physician who does the regenerative medicine they need to have certification now, in regenerative your big medicine. conferences are you teaching other doctors this your protocols right right we have uh, workshops uh, three times a year on this and then we have lectures and now this this book i gotta tell you you wrote this book this is the world's most boring book i tried <laughs> to read this book and then i realized this is for medical doctors yes right it is for now, medical. now these are in medical schools i mean you have 14 books you've you've yes, written yes yes on the topic, are they all boring like this to guys like me? <laughs> well, some they're of all... them could be even more boring. So. <laughs> so, I mean, they're very scientific. These are for doctors right. to understand. We have written some uh, books on billing and coding documentation. And okay, good. So, things like that. So, how doctors can run their businesses. I have written those books too. All right. So, this book, uh, Regenerative Medicine, is not quite in medical schools. It is learned always outside. They don't teach them, like Mayo Clinic and Duke and they are, okay. several of them are doing research, but they are not teaching the medical students or residents okay. these techniques. Now I was told, on actually one of the biggest podcasts in the world, this guy interviews MMA fighters and they, the people in the know, these people that fight for a living and make millions, when they're done with a fight, he said they go like the Cayman or they go somewhere and they get stem cells in, in their knees, in their shoulders, in their back. That's correct. 
Is that yes, right? Yeah, some of them are getting IV infusions now. So it, they can make, keep them young and dynamic and functional. So, so in the future, whether it's 50 years or whatever, people just aren't gonna wear out like they're wearing out today. Mm, I would say in the next 20 years or so, not that, right? not that long, so. Are you gonna stuff yourself with uh, stem shells, with stem cells when you're in your 90s? Uh, I may. You might do it, all right. <laughs> well look, we're out of time. We're gonna interview your partner about stem cells coming up. Uh, so I wanna thank you for coming on the program. Okay, he's very knowledgeable. Thank right. you again. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. We'll be right back. More on stem cells, what you need to know, especially if you're in pain. We'll be right back. You're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Hours. Today's topic, big topic, stem cells to eliminate pain of the back, uh, neck pain, uh, there are people, according to my first guest, there are people that have canceled their knee replacement surgery and with stem cells never had to have surgery again uh, or, or have any surgery for that matter. And uh, we're talking about uh, shoulder pain, knee pain, and back pain. Uh, with us, we have interventional pain management uh, physician, Dr. Sanapati. Dr. Sanapati, welcome to the program. Yes, Randy, thanks. And before we went on camera, I said, what, what, what do you like stem cells for? Uh, shoulders, knees, back, back pain, and you said pretty much all of them. Sure. But 70% of what you do is for back, so let's start there. Sure. How are stem cells being used to eliminate back pain? Uh, stem cells can be used in different areas in the back. When you're talking about the back pain, the back pain usually comes from either facet joints or discs or sacroiliac joints, or it can be muscles, tendons, ligaments in the back. Okay. So we inject into the specific targeted area where the pain is coming from. So after we do the evaluation, if we think that the facet joint is a problem, we inject the stem cells into the facet joints. If the disc seems to be the problem, uh, depending on the MRI pictures and the clinical picture of the pain, we inject into the disc, uh, the discs. Okay. And then we also inject into the sacroiliac joints. Okay, and then what happens? Usually we see the relief in two to three weeks after the injections. So they are sore. The important things to consider before the injections is they got to be off of the anti-inflammatory medications for two weeks and okay. steroids for a month. All right. So then they can be injected and these are done under fluoroscopy guidance so okay. we can inject these uh, medication, the stem cells precisely. Now I know you brought these right here. Okay, so this spine, these spongy discs. Yes. Okay, over time they get flatter and flatter, yes. I guess. And then they squeeze out. And then they squeeze out. So yes. once they get super flat, mm -hmm. they bulge out a little bit, yes. push the nerve, yes. and you get And then pain. they get uh, sciatica pain, yes. So if you inject this, uh -huh. somebody even told me it's like growing tomatoes in a garden, probably yes. an exaggeration, but you inject it and it rebuilds? Yes. The st is that right? Yes, it rebuilds. Uh, if you do an MRI after the injection, so several months later, you can actually see the thickness of the disc increasing in size. So as most back pain, like when you look at the spine, so yes. you got those little discs, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. What are they made out of? Is it like cartilage material? Yes, it's okay. cartilage material. It's like spongy? Spongy, kind of they call it jelly donut-like. So no. is that is most back pain because of the degeneration of these discs? Uh, facets, joints, degeneration, okay. strain and strain in the facet joints, and also the disc degeneration. Okay. So uh, the statistics, several studies show that the facet joint pain is the most common. The second is discs. So, so, so the spine is becoming compressed a little bit with age? Well, well yeah, with, with age, uh, the, because of the degeneration of the disc, the thickness of the discs goes down and the height goes down. Okay, so you inject it? Yes. And the stem cell, how do the stem cells, so they go wherever you inject them? And then they, they rebuild? Go, uh, they, they are either injected into the areas of interest where the problem is, or sometimes they are done like intravascular injections in the veins, and they go to the places where they are needed. It's called homing, they find their home. So what about the results you've seen with patients uh, with stem cells, in back pain in particular? Oh, I had seen uh, one patient, which is kind of 60 to 70, year, 70 years old uh, uh, patient, uh, with long-standing back pain, tried all the other injections and uh, physical therapy and uh, didn't go anywhere, wanted to try stem cells because the patient can afford. Okay. So uh, we scheduled this procedure. We did a procedure ahead they called a discogram to identify the bad ones. And then we scheduled for the stem cells injections procedure and the procedure was done. And after two to three weeks, the patient was like a new new person. Out of pain? Out of pain and uh, walking uh, and uh, playing golf and uh, doing all these things which you couldn't do before. So the stem cells, beyond growing, I guess, the tissue, Yes. is it helping with, uh, what else is it helping with? I mean, it gets rid of inflammation? 
the, they are shown to uh, get rid of the inflammation. Uh, they inhibit the production of the, the inflammatory materials like interleukins, TNF-alpha, and things like that. So they also uh, repress the synovial fibroblasts in the joints. So they are shown to um, uh, inhibit the inflammation. Okay, so insurance, we should mention, and this is here in America, does not cover stem cells. I know what you're charging. Uh, according to your partner, Dr. Uh, Manchikanti, you're about half off the going rate Absolutely. Uh, of stem cells. Yes. So, so you're inexpensive when it comes to this. And I saw the price, so it's, it, it's really inexpensive in yes. the scheme of things. Yeah, we, we do offer these treatments uh, at a much uh, lesser uh, rate compared to the okay. other places. Moving up to shoulders. Uh -huh. Shoulders are treating really well. Yes. People that have been told you need, like you have a torn... Uh, rotator cuff. Okay. Yeah, rotator. I had a patient uh, around 30 to 40 years old, and uh, uh, it was a sports injury, and uh, it was not getting better with therapy. And uh, we we did a MRI, showed rotator cuff injury, and then uh, the patient uh, wanted to go with the uh, stem cell treatments, and, and uh, we did an ultrasound guided. Uh, in ultrasound guidance, actually, you can see the tear, and you can inject the stem cells precisely into where the, the tear. problem is. Yeah. And what happened? And it heals pretty good, and uh, he got his strength back and able to rotate uh, the arm better. And uh, went so back it to truly is like a regenerative medicine. Stem cells are either you know they, they work by repairing, replacing, restoring, or regenerating. Okay. So you're actually getting your body part back. Is that right? Yeah. And you're doing this right now in your practice. Yes. Where you are now. Uh, we, we should mention, I've done some research on this, mostly by watching mm -hmm. your YouTube videos online yes. and doing my own little research. And you know, Google's very confusing, right? There's all types of information there. But I guess there's stem cells from the fat cells. Yes. There's stem cells that come in kits that yes. have to be delivered, thought out, whatever, uh, from, from cord, from, from baby's umbilical cords. And uh, then there's PRP where you take your own blood, spin it around, inject that. But the most effective, and every expert agrees, is... Stem cells from their bone marrow. Their own bone marrow. Yes. And that's what you guys are doing. Absolutely. That's why, why doesn't like everybody do. do it this way? You just have to have the training or the facility? Yeah, it's more invasive and it needs special skills uh, to uh, aspirate the bone marrow from the bones and uh, uh, process it. So it, it, uh, it, you have to be a specially skilled uh, surgeon uh, to do those procedures and you have to have go through more training okay. to do these so procedures. So I was told though, because like the, you know, the famous people in LA, like the MMA fighters, mm -hmm. I was telling this to Dr. Manchikanti that the biggest podcast in the world, they say after their big fights, they go to the Cayman Islands, they get injected with stem cells and then they come home. I was under the impression to get stem cells from your own bone marrow that you had to, that you couldn't do it here in the US. Yeah, they, it used but to be that can. way. A lot of these athletes, like even Tiger Woods, uh, they went out of the country to get these injections. Now they uh, can do it here. It, it's done right here. In, um, it, we do it in our clinics. It's safer this way because when you go out of the country, you don't know uh, the quality of the products and the infection risk. And uh, you, know, you, you, you can have a lot of complications and uh, you can't go back all the way to get these complications take care, taken care of. And if you go outside and uh, get these procedures done, your insurance probably won't cover the complications and hospital admissions. So if you live long enough. Yes according to your partner, and I'm not quoting you, you probably feel the same way, but if you live long enough, you're gonna have some sort of back pain. Yes. Is that right? Oh, absolutely. Like less than what? How many percent don't have back pain at 90 years old or 80 years old? Maybe less than 10%. Is that right? And so, because it's, it's just a wearing out of- Of your tissues. Of the tissues. Degeneration of the tissues. So is the future, which is the futures now, I guess, is for ongoing maintenance, I guess, for certain people, you could inject certain parts of the lumbar spine. Yes. Even the neck areas, neck, the joints shoulder, in the neck, shoulders, knees. Uh, back, knees. Uh, really? Uh, hips. You, you, these are done even in the hip and joints. And you can keep your joints, your tissues mm -hmm. young. Yes, like some people develop uh, a vascular necrosis. It's called of the femoral heads in the hip joints. Previously, only the surgery was the option. Now you can actually inject the stem cells okay. and regenerate uh, the bone. So we're out of time. Final message: uh, Somebody researching stem cells. Who should they look look for when they're going to a doctor, a physician that's doing stem cells? Should they demand, make sure they're getting moro, uh, marrow stem cells from their own bone marrow? That would be very important. It's ideal to look for a specially trained uh, uh, physician 
who has done a lot of these injections, who knows more about these injections, and uh, who also follows uh, the safety protocols at their locations, because you don't want uh, infections. That's what I have been hearing recently, that people are having bad infections. Because they're buying these outside uh, yes, cord and you don't blood cells, cell Especially cells. when they're using amniotic products, placental products, and uh, umbilical cord uh, products. Uh, uh, there's a high risk of uh, viral transmission and also bacterial contamination. So these are not recommended. So, so this stem cell procedure, by the way, you're, you're, you're to work the next day. I mean, you're walking oh around. Yes, there's no limitation. So, so is it a needle? You go into the hip. Yes, you it's would... a fluoroscopy guided, under, under x-ray guidance. You take the cells where the problem is and you inject right there. And then there, you put a Band-Aid over. Yeah, it is just and a they Band-Aid. Go home. They go home. Seems if it like... is done in the injection, uh, in the disc in the back, then it'll be sore for few days, you may need like a back brace for a couple of weeks and uh, you're pretty good. Are you ever surprised with the results of stem cells? Yes, I was surprised in the beginning because it, was a, it is a new treatment and it has a great future and the potential. Uh, I think uh, the way we are looking at things nowadays uh, is uh, less on the medications and uh, more on the uh, structured exercise programs, physical therapy, yoga, nutrition and also regenerative therapy. This so, is the natural healing process. We want to promote okay, the natural okay. healing process. Final message, somebody watching this, mm. and they've, most people have heard about stem cells. Yeah. What should they look for in a doctor that's doing stem cells? What questions should they ask the doctor? Uh, they have to ask the doctor uh, how many injections they have done and uh, what was the uh, results. And also find out what exactly they are injecting. Are they injecting a bone marrow or uh, adipose tissue that is fat or amniotic products or placenta products or umbilical cord products? Because the, the placental products and the amniotic products, uh, umbilical cord products, they were marketed as stem cells, but... Uh, they just don't uh, work as well, is and, that and right? They, and they're not stem cells, actually they are okay. growth factors. So what are the studies have shown that they helped uh, is because of the growth factors in those products is not the stem cells. So they should be called growth factor therapy, not stem cell therapy. And the price is almost the same. Almost you might as well same. get the real stem cells. Real stem cells from bone marrow, that is the ideal. So. If somebody is going to a physician, um, to a specialist, uh, looking for stem cell therapy, uh, it's important to make sure that they're getting stem cells from the bone marrow, that way they get the optimum treatment. Because not all stem cells are the same. No, you're right, they're not the same. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Great, great Thanks, information. Randy. So this is not covered by insurance, not a lot of money, cash out of pocket, but uh, you can regrow Yes, you can regrow, cuffs. repair, restore, if you're regenerate. For, if you're scheduled for a, a knee replacement, yeah. maybe stem cells. Yes. Is that it right? It saves from replacement of the knees. Okay, good. Majority of the cases. All right, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Good stuff. Thanks, Randy. You've been watching the Wellness Hour News that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues. 